Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out a curly hair line. Now that there is less damage on my hair after bleaching it and then cutting most of it off, I want to transition into not just wearing my hair straight but also wearing it wavy wavy slash curly. My hair is naturally wavy, but I can get it to look somewhat curly with the right products. That is why I bought the entire Wave Tech line from X Mondo, who is Brad Mondo here on YouTube. Personally, I love watching his videos because they're not only very entertaining, but they're also very informative. He always fills them with a lot of information about hair, hair types, hair products, and so I decided to purchase his entire line, which I am testing out today. Now I've already gone ahead and washed my hair to get that out of the way. I used the Wave Tech shampoo as well as the Wave Tech conditioner. The scent on this is pretty heavy, but I personally love it. Personally, I don't mind the scent. It smells so good. But if you are sensitive to that, then you may be sensitive to these because it is quite strong, but I think it's pleasant, so I don't have an issue with that. After using the shampoo, my hair felt really clean and pretty soft. It didn't feel um, like, you know, it had stripped away every single ounce of oil from my hair. It felt very, very soft and manageable. The conditioner, after I rinsed that out, it didn't feel, and when I applied it, it didn't feel heavy. It didn't feel like too thick, too heavy, like I was gonna be left with any kind of like a residue or like it was going to weigh down my hair. Everything felt really nice going on and coming off. Didn't have an issue there. Now within the Wave Tech line, he offers the hydrating wave cream as well as the wave foam. We're gonna be using the wave foam today because from what I've read and from what I've seen, this is very, very lightweight, but it still is very good at like capturing your curls and keeping them nice and frizz free and intact. And after styling it for the day, I'm gonna come back tomorrow to finish the rest of the video because I also purchased the Wave Revival Mist. This is what you would use in order to freshen up your curls after you've already set them. One last thing to note before we get started, all of these products are vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, and gluten-free, and they all have a shelf life of 12 months. So I've had my hair in my towel for about, I don't know, about a good 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I mean, I was able to do my makeup and everything. So you see, now that it's nice and short and that all of the damage is pretty much completely gone, for the most part, I shouldn't say completely gone because I do still have some damage here along the ends of my hair. My hair's pretty wavy and I really love wearing it that way when I have worn it that way, but I don't typically wear it that way because it can get a little frizzy and it just kind of gets in the way. It loses its volume and then, you know, I'd rather just not deal with it. I always end up putting it in a ponytail or just in a clip or something. Now the wave foam in particular is going to enhance our wave formation as well as control frizz. It's going to emphasize our existing wave or create new body on straight hair. So even if you have straight hair, this might help you get like a little bit of bounce in it. Now, in order to get the wave foam evenly distributed throughout my entire head of hair and to make sure that I'm using enough, I'm going to be using a wide tooth comb. I'm simply going to be applying foam onto the comb and then going and brushing different sections of my hair with the wide tooth comb. So let's get started. I'm not going to be messing with it. It's just straight out of the towel. I'm just going to be parting it just a little bit to make sure that I don't miss any part of my hair while applying this. And I'm just brushing it through, making sure that I'm getting plenty of it. I'm gonna take another section and some more foam. All right, now we're gonna get more hair. And even with just the shampoo and the conditioner, my hair feels super soft. Like I feel like it would look really good just drying, like air drying on its own, even without the foam.
All right, last section. So I'm just gonna make sure that I have enough, especially on the top layer. So that's what you're gonna see the most. All right, so it definitely feels like I have got plenty in there. I've got more than enough right now. So now I'm just gonna break it up and try to continue to like scrunch it. I do wonder if I overdid it. <laughs> <laughs> did I do too much? <laughs> maybe, maybe I did. Cause I also wanted to spread out like right at the root so that hopefully that gives me a little bit more lift as well. I do want to diffuse it a little bit just so that it's not so saturated that it takes all day long to dry. So I'm gonna do that. Let me grab my dryer. <laughs> All right, I got my dryer. I've got my diffuser attachment ready to go based on Brad Mondo's recommendation. I'm going to be um, diffusing on a low, low setting on both sides. So it's gonna be low air, low heat. And he does recommend that we diffuse like this, not like this. I used to always diffuse like this, especially like with my hair down. Who else did that? All right, so let's start it. So there it is. I'd say right now it's about 60% dry, so not completely dry. Let me give you guys a back view. I do feel like I'm getting a lot of definition, okay, and a lot of volume to go along with it, but I'm gonna let the rest of my hair air dry and then I'll be right back to show you what it looks like once it's completely dry. All right, I am back. My hair is completely dry. There, there isn't any moisture left over. And look at this, look at this. And it doesn't feel crunchy. It doesn't feel heavy like I thought it would, especially because I thought that I definitely overdid it with the foam. But like maybe next time I won't need as much foam. Like I'll still make sure that my entire head of hair gets covered, but I don't think I needed the amount that I gave myself today. But look at this, like, oh my gosh, let me turn around. I mean, seriously, this gave me that lift that I was looking for, my curls or my waves rather, because I told you guys, I don't, I don't feel like I have curly hair. Mine's definitely wavy, but everything is like really formed and together and not frizzy whatsoever. I usually get frizzy like around here. Whenever I do let my hair just like naturally dry, it gets tends to get frizzy right here and then just kind of like here and there throughout the entire head of hair. But like I really I'm not seeing any frizz. This this is amazing. Now this review is not over. Okay. I'm going to be coming back tomorrow and that is when we will be using the wave revival mist. I really want to use this tomorrow because this is supposed to redefine your waves. So it's kind of like supposed to bring them back to life. Let's say you do get a little bit frizzy or they do start kind of coming undone. If you will, you're supposed to be able to spray a little bit of this and onto dry hair and then just bring that life back to the waves. So so we're going to be using this tomorrow, but this like initial, initial thoughts. I love it. I love it. I really do. Oh, okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. I am back. It is now the following evening. Actually, it is currently 6 51 PM. This is how I've been wearing my hair kind of like all day because I wanted to just keep it out of my face since I was doing quite a lot on the computer. This is what it looks like at the current moment. So like, let's say I've just been, you know, doing what I've been doing all day, but now I'm ready to like refresh the waves because maybe I'm going out tonight. Spoiler, I'm not, but you know, let's just pretend. So we're gonna go in with the Wave Revival Mist. It states that you should use it by spraying it 12 inches away to evenly coat dry hair, twist and scrunch hair to redefine the waves. And you're supposed to shake the bottle before you use it. So we're gonna do that. As you can see, it is, it is starting to come a little undone. It looks a tiny bit frizzy over here and a little bit over here. And the waves are kind of like all gone around my face. So let's, let's try to 
fix that. So we're gonna do 12, that's roughly 12 inches, right? All right. I'm gonna do one side at a time. And you're just gonna scrunch it. Just gonna like run my fingers through it a little bit to try to combine the waves once more because there was a lot of like frizziness. And now that they're combined, I'm just going to scrunch it up a little bit. Same down here. I'm just gonna kind of run my fingers through before coming back and just scrunching. So there is one side. Now let's take care of the other. Try not to get this in my mouth or in my eyes. And again, I'm just running my fingers through it real quick and then scrunching up. I mean, yes, look, it redefined my waves a lot, I would say, right? Quite a bit. And same on this side. Let me show you guys from the back. Now that I've had a chance to wear it overnight and all day today, I, and for the majority of the day yesterday also, I cannot get enough of just how well this did on my wavy hair. It is definitely defining my waves. It's giving me a ton of volume that I wouldn't otherwise really have. Um, I mean, I have quite a bit of hair, but for the most part, it's heavy. So it lies kind of flat on my head. I usually have to go in with either like texturizing spray or like a, um, like my expanded dust from Unite in order to just add that texture and volume to the root. Otherwise it just kind of sits flat. But this, it's just, it's giving me a lot of volume, a lot of definition, long lasting. It doesn't, I mean, it does feel like you have product in your hair. Obviously it's not gonna feel like super silky and soft because you do have product in your hair, but it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I really have a ton of product, kind of like what it does whenever I use my expanded dust. As much as I love that for volume and for lift, it feels like you have a ton of product as soon as you apply it. You guys saw just how much foam I used yesterday and it does not feel weighed down or heavy. It feels very, very nice and light, so much so that it's just like, it's a head full of volume. So if you're looking for definition, whether you have really curly hair or wavy hair, check this line out because I'm hooked. I, I'm absolutely, absolutely hooked. After today, get ready to see me with my natural waves more often than not. I absolutely love it. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.